one. So I started to talk to our middleware as code with MRV. So I changed my talk title after creating presentation slides. So I speak our slowly, slowly English. So uh, my name is uh, Shibata Hiroshi. So please call me Hiroshi. So my internet nickname is uh, HSBT. So it is used at Twitter and GitHub too. My job title is Chief Engineer at the GMO Paperball. I have many commit bits such as Ruby and Rake and Ruby GMS, Rdoc, Rake, blah, 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 etc. <laughs> So uh, I maintain this website, uh, RubyLang and RubyCI and RaceGuard. So if you have questions and uh, requests to this software and these websites, uh, please pick up uh, after this talk. So I'm from Tokyo. This is Tokyo. So Matt came from our uh, Matsue. So yeah. It's a Ruby's bus price. So I uh, arrived every Red Dot Ruby Con from 2013. So it's a sweet time for me. So thanks, uh, Winston. I'm from Asakusa Ruby. So Asakusa Ruby is, oops. Asakusa Ruby is the most active Ruby's meetup in Tokyo, Japan. So every Tuesday, if you visit Tokyo, Japan at the Tuesday, so please call me. Please mention to these members on Twitter. Uh, it's a founder of our meetup, uh, Matsuda-san. He is a Ruby and Rails committee, and Ruby Kai is organizer, and Kakutani-san, Koichi-san, and me. So. We will pick up uh, near the, our meetup place. So uh, it's a uh, last advertised slide. So we are working on developing to Ruby 2.3 now. But we do not have the big future of Ruby 2.3 yet. Currently, so we removed some obsolated and uh, duplicate libraries like Rake and the Telnet from standard library. But don't worry. So we already implemented bundled gem mechanism. You can get these libraries via Ruby gems when you install Ruby. And uh, if you have any issue, please submit uh, our tracker. Uh, sorry, it's a red mine. So, moreover, we schedule the core developer meeting every month. Please read the, this link for uh, details. So, okay. Today I talk middleware as code with Everly. It's today's talk target first web engineer in good Rails programmer and operation engineer and QA testing engineer and uh, MRV committers. Is there an MRV committer in Razor RubyConf? <laughs> but only. <laughs> so I hope to show this presentation to Matt. <laughs> so at first, I need to introduce MRV basis. Is there any person who uses MRV in production? Wow. <laughs> What's MRV? So, it is an official message. So MRV is a lightweight implementation of the Ruby language comparing to the ISO standard. Its syntax is Ruby 1.9 compatible. However, MRV has some differences compared to CRuby. I listed there. Uh, important things are uh, MRV is a single binary without native extension and pure libraries. And it doesn't provide a require method. So we can't, we couldn't use require in MRV's world. It is uh, confused many of Ruby's. 
Emory has many advantages, I think. First, the single binary like uh, Golang, it is very portable without Ruby James dependencies. Second, it can be embedded to some middleware like HTTP server. Uh, Rust, it's the most important thing. So MRB is fun. Fun provides productivity to programmers. So, yeah, dive into MRB builds. MRB binary is controlled by build config RV. I figured out this mechanism. This part is the Ruby script. If you want to customize the MRV binary, you can put your library or third party library via conf gem syntax or like a bundler the gems file. It passes GitHub directory. You can use local file system, so like this. MRV gem mechanism provides conf gem. Please read this link for uh, details. MRV gem mainly component is a uh, MRV gem like and uh, MRV live directory and the SRC directory. E MRV gem is our uh, endpoint or MRV gem. And MRV live is a primary source for MRV gem. It includes our uh, pure Ruby files. SRC is native extension or MRV. So okay, I will live coding. So it is on my first time for live coding. Okay. MRV. Mm. So hello world. So MRV, I couldn't know or hello class. So I tried to create a MRV hello MRV jam. So it's empty for the and to MRV jam like oh. Sense MIT spec also me so uh, MRB like uh, the specification needs to are uh, two attributes so uh, it's a uh, license and uh, also section hmm. and uh, I write. Uh, Hello, gem. It's the uh, same as CRuby. Dev world but RDRC. Yeah, so it's a uh, uh, first implementation of MRV gem. So I need to put our uh, MRV hello gem into our build config. So like a uh, conf jam uh real pass. Hmm. Like on the build. Oh, so save. So MRV hello world. Oh, RDRC. Yeah, so I'm now uh, MRV gem author. So <laughs> uh, it's uh, so easy. So, and uh, this binary uh, removed to home holder. Hmm, it includes our MRV gem. 
So it's a single binary is advantageous. Okay. Okay. So it's a MRV jam mechanism. So next topic is a middle and mid MRV. So MRV has an embeddable mechanism for middleware. So MRV provides a Ruby runtime and the syntax to middleware. It provides fun for us. I introduce Nginx MRV. Matsumoto Ryosuke, who works GMO Paperball, made the Nginx MRV. So he is my colleague. We can run Ruby code via Nginx MRV or Nginx process. So it is an Nginx configuration file, it's not the Ruby file. Hmm. You can play Nginx MRV on OS 10 or Linux boxes. This list is a minimum instruction for uh, playing Nginx MRV. So it's a copy and paste building. Nginx MRV have many hook points for invoking Ruby code on Nginx. First, Ruby content handler. It is a fundamental usage of Nginx MRV like this. So it invokes the hello RB file with a cache mechanism. So cache mechanism is, uh, this Ruby file is caching. And uh, you can write inline Ruby code into our Nginx configuration with a code suffix, MRV content handler underscore code. MRV, Nginx MRV invokes these handlers every request. It's important, every request. Next is a MRV set. It sets the return value from uh, MRV code evaluation into, uh, it set, uh, it results to uh, Nginx variables, like this uh, backend variable get uh, proxy, proxy.rv return value. Code suffix is the same as before slides, uh, MRV set code and the inline code. And the MRV init, MRV init is invoked once when Nginx master process launches. It is not invoked every request, like this, uh, HTTP section and the MRV init, uh, some file init for initializer file and the location section is a MRV content handler. It invokes our every requests. MRV init worker, like MRV init behavior, but it invokes when a worker process run, launched. Uh, this uh, mainly a function of Nginx MRV. So it is a sample core of Nginx MRV. Nginx MRV creates a request and a connection class and instances. We can use these instances for HTTP programming. This production code class handles these instances across the initialize request and the connection get connection. And it detects our RP from a remote IP address, uh, like this connection dot remote IP method. And uh, some header, some header, header, the request, request instance have uh, some header and header attributes. So X or X wired RP. So this program uh, handles uh, these attributes and uh, 
allow the API address if uh, NGX requests have a yeah, and connection, IP address is a local host address. So this production code pass through the it requests. I put this code using uh, MRV set handle like this. NGX handles return value of MRV and access control like this before rack before black middle layer on rails. So we can access controls. Uh, so our company, JMO Paperball, uses Nginx MRV for these use cases. Example for a calculation of digest hash for authentication and data sharing with rails application and uh, Nginx, and to replace Agi complex Nginx configuration to test our Ruby code. So we say middleware as code as this concept using Nginx and Ruby. I'll show more details on our use cases. So I introduced data sharing and uh, restricted access with Nginx and Ruby. We have host sharing service named the 30 days R1. I introduced this service authenticate, uh, this service architecture uh, to pass Ruby, to RubyConf. So, okay. This figure shows restricted access mechanism without Nginx and Ruby. So we used Nginx and the Rise application and the Memcached and the Parva. Parva is Lightweight proxy middleware written by PAR. This figure is a complex architecture because it has much middleware and different languages. So I replaced PARBAR to NGINX MRV. So I integrated, integrated PARBAR's function into our NGINX MRV. So we can develop with the uh, only Ruby code now. So, I introduce our code of data sharing using memcached like this. It is a pure Ruby code. It is not a specified MRV code. We have collection leak issue at our first implementation. So, I put memcached collection into MRV handler section. We faced the collection overflow after that. I discussed this issue with Matsumoto Ryosuke-san before he joined to our company. He solved this issue in a few days implemented by MRV in Intuaka. We can share the memcached collection use the MRV in Intuaka handler. So, NGX MRV and MRV is the open source software. So, if you have uh, any issue and requests, so please submit uh, GitHub or OSS. So, we are developing together. It is a final version of our sharing code. We put connection process into init worker handler like this and disconnect it like this. MRV user data is a user data class, provides a user data and user data class. It provides a global object in NGINX MRV across each handlers. We can share the connection via this code. We dissect some requests with this code. It is simple Ruby code. We evaluate the request, request path and the rail session data like this. So, hmm. sharing with uh, this session ID key. R 
It is powerless compared to part and uh, range XMLV. Engine XMLV is faster 10 to 20 percent than power. We got more Ruby code and high performance with Engine XMLV. It's so fast. I please start it. So I, Matsumoto Ryosuke san said uh, this slide. <laughs> so next topic is testing. So testing is important. So someone said the test is redundant. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, we should test every production code in real world. I cannot find the MRV use case with testing code in results of Google search. So prototype concepts. So my first implementation is these concepts. We use C Ruby without MRV and use a test unit, simple X unit tools. And so we focus only Ruby's syntax, not it is not MRV's behavior. It is a target code of MRV. It is the same as before slides. So we need to put match dummy class because Shirvi doesn't know MRV's words. So NGX requests and the connection and all of dummy attribute and the dummy class. And uh, it is a dummy class of uh, MRV user data and MRV memcached class. So MRV memcached class name is a memcached D. But a C Ruby's memcached class is memcached. So it is <laughs> too complex to me. And so test code is here. It is simple test case. So set up context creates a uh, dummy class of NGX requests and the connection instance and uh, require the target code and assert our production code with a uh, setup context. It is a test case of memcache request, memcache the usage. So it's same as uh, before slide and uh, I create a memcached instance and set a data and mocking out a cookie data with a session key. We can run tests. We can run these test codes with this one liner. Simple Ruby really code. So we can test it. Test is back. So we can test MRV code. However, I have some concerns about the CRV testing. CRV testing is not real, real behavior through many work and stuff. So it's a uh, Ruby's test of the dark side. So we try testing code over MRV using MRV. I found the unit test library named MRV M tests because it is MRV gem. We can put unit test two into MRV binaries. So like this, we I put uh, like this MRV M tests and the building binary, and uh, we can run uh, these this test code. I added test case into inline production code for using MRV M tests. If MRV binary has MRV M test class, it invokes uh, this box. It is a test code. If MRV didn't have M test class, it invokes our production code like this. We need need to separate the MRV binary from NGINX MRV. This instruction shows only build MRV binary before emulated NGINX. I wrote this task runner for MRV testing. It is a simple like task. I'm going to upload this slide after this presentation 
uh, please check instruction details. So I can evoke this task runner results uh, here. MRV testing is uh, three times faster than CRV testing. All of the elapsed time is uh, seven microseconds. It's so fast. Last topic is deployment. We need to prepare Nginx MRV binary for production use. We use build the Nginx MRV binary with Docker container like this. So please show the, my gist files. You can get uh, this complex Docker file, uh, copy and paste. These instructions are simple Docker commands. You can get Nginx MRE binary with your build config via Docker easily. Only two commands, like this. We put this binary into our official Nginx packages. So we replace only Nginx binary for Nginx MRE deployment or replace only Nginx binary. We are widely using Puppet for production deployment in my company. This manifest provides a Nginx replacement for official Nginx packages. If you use a Chef or Ansible, uh, please write uh, like this. I introduce production use case of Nginx MRV, and the test and the deployment. However, we have many challenges related to Nginx MRV. We use binary with mtest gen. It is different from production binary. I hope to use same binary test and production. Second, we have no CI server. I think it is possible to prepare a cross-compilation issue. We found MRV, Rust, we found the MRV solved no test issue of NGX configuration. I think NGX MRV provides the testable world for, to us. It, MRV has a cross-compilation, cross-compiled configuration. We are trying to build MRV cross compile directly now. It, I think it is uh, evaluation status. I hope to build uh, more easily to MRV binary like uh, Gorang. So I show MRV in the future. So MRV IPVS is an IP virtual server for MRV. We can use IPVS function using a simple Ruby code like this. Next is MRV C group. Matsumoto Ryosuke makes it. It controls Linux group function via MRV. So we can handle lower level function of Linux via MRV and the Ruby code. Even if you can only write Ruby code, you can control the Linux world. So we should use MRV for expanding Ruby world. Thanks, that's all. <laughs>